We have a fraction of patients that, has a, that have a very durable uh, progression-free survival. Um, they have such a long uh, remission duration that they are may be cured, but sometimes even after 10 years these patients may develop a relapse of their disease, so we still have to learn more about that. Uh, but then on the other hand, the majority of the patient still faces relapse. Um, so if you compare myeloma with Hodgkin's lymphoma and diffuse large B-cell lymphomas, there is still a lot of things uh, that have to be improved to get a higher cure fraction. And I will discuss tomorrow that we can improve cure, or probably can improve the cure fraction by initiating treatment at an earlier stage. So in smoldering multiple myeloma at high risk of progression, because these, these patients with smoldering multiple myeloma have a less uh, genetically abnormal genome, the microenvironment is not as much disturbed as in active myeloma. So maybe in that setting, drugs are more active and can reduce the tumor uh, much more effectively. Another approach is to achieve MRD negativity because sustained MRD negativity is associated with a very good outcome. So maybe the goal should be MRD uh, should be towards uh, getting sustained MRD negativity and that can be achieved by giving very active agents in um, induction, consolidation, maintenance and in the future we will also be able to incorporate new effective uh, agents thereby further improving uh, the fraction of patients that might be cured. So I'm thinking then about the monoclonals in different stages, bispecifics in different stages and also uh, maybe CAR T-cells for patients with high-risk myeloma.